Okay, since we have finished um, our novel Between Shades of Grey, we are going to do a conclusion activity called a book analysis. And um, it is a one-pager response to your reading that connects the ideas in the book to your um, any creative thoughts that you have. And the purpose is so that your audience will understand the big ideas, themes, and connections within the book if they haven't read it yet. All of this needs to be done on a blank piece of computer paper. And keep in mind, I understand some of you don't like to draw. So you may trace from the internet. You may put all of your pictures onto one document and cut them out and glue them onto this piece of paper. Um, you can try and do it all digitally on a Google Doc, but everything that you have has to fit onto um, one piece of paper, and this is everything that you must have. The first thing is a title and a border. So the title and the of the book, the author's name has to be somewhere on the page and be creative with it. Do you wanna put it across the entire top of the page? Do you wanna put it diagonally or down the side? Um, include a border that reflects something from the learning or the theme. We're gonna revisit theme with this. So if I were to think back to Unstoppable, uh, a theme that I could, or I, I'm sorry, a border that I could put around my piece of paper might be footballs because that was such a huge part of our story. That was the sport Harrison played. That was what he was so upset about when he um, became sick. I could put, maybe I'm a super artist and I could put a prosthetic leg because that is something that Harrison had to get. Or I can put um, a weight because he was working out a bunch. So anything that had to relate to the book I could use as the border along my piece of paper. So think of um, something that reflects the learning from our book Between Shades of Grey. Think about the characters, think about what they went through um, and make that part of the border. And then we're gonna revisit theme and remember theme is a message that the author is trying to tell you but you cannot include specific details from the book like a character's name or um, something that is plot specific like concentration camp because you want to be able to take this theme and apply it to other books. So you're going to write a theme statement for um, the book on the same page and again try and be creative and you need to include one piece of evidence that connects to the theme and explain why. Um, so again if I'm thinking of unstoppable um, my theme statement and I'm making this up on the spot could be Hard work, even when life throws you curveballs, will pay off in the end because Harrison getting sick with cancer and losing part of his leg was definitely a curveball, but he continued to work hard and it paid off for him. So that would be my explanation, and I would consider that part of the evidence. I'm not going to make you go and find, let's not put the page number. I'll take that out for you because I'm just that nice. Um, third, you're either going to draw or trace images or find images on the internet and print them out. Please put them all on one sheet and cut them and glue them onto the paper, however you are comfortable. But you need to have three images that represent that theme statement that you created or that represent our characters, Lena, her mom, Andrus, her brother, the bald man, Kretzky. Um, you, many of you from our week three... Um, choice board picked the conflict, the four squares for conflict. So could you find a picture of people that had conflict in the book um, or the setting? We know where that currently, um, as I'm making this video, they're in the Arctic Circle for the book. And I know that through our research, we found pictures of concentration camps. So all of these things could be options and you would need three. And these should be strongly connected to the book and should stand out. So it's not just going to be a picture of a girl because it reminds you of Lena. Um, maybe think of what Lena's very good at and print a picture off or draw that picture. On this same piece of paper, you need to have two interesting quotes. So something that was said in the book or a moment in the book that um, really stuck out to you. And if your passage is part of dialogue, like something somebody says, make sure you include the character's name who said it. So what is something that the NKVD always say? I'm sure you can find that on just about every page. Um, what is something that Lena's mom would always say to stay positive? Um, so anything that you thought was interesting or that really made you think, 
Um, I know that Mrs. Novi will do her best to help you find these quotes. Again, I deleted the fact that you need to have page numbers. You do not. And then once you have the title and border, your theme statement, three images in whatever way you're comfortable, two interesting quotes, on the back, you are going to write in five to seven sentences your overall opinion. Um, I would start with, did you like Between Shades of Grey or did you not like it? That would be a sentence. Would you recommend this book? Why? Why did you enjoy reading it or why did you not enjoy reading it? This has to be in five to seven sentences, so I really recommend thinking of if you, if you loved the book or liked the book and you enjoyed reading it, Think of three reasons why and make those into three different sentences. If you couldn't stand reading it, which I would be shocked because you all played that off very well if you didn't like the book, then just think of three reasons why you didn't enjoy the book and make those into three different sentences. Um, be sure that your grammar and your spelling and you have end punctuation and things are capitalized. We want little problems with this. You can look up words on your computer. You can speak into a Google Doc and you can see how things are spelled, so that will be helpful to you. And we want to look at these, so make sure that they are colorful and they're neat. Um, if you had to erase a bunch for one of your quotes and you're just at the beginning, maybe you want to um, consider leaving that as your rough draft and doing a final draft so you don't have a bunch of erase marks. Um, another option might be to type up what you were writing and you can cut those quotes out or um, so it looks neat and your entire page should be filled. You, um, If you have any extra room, repeat any of the above steps. So maybe you want to think of another theme statement or another picture just to fill. There should not be any white space. Nothing should be left in pencil. So that means if you did write in pencil, that's totally fine, but trace it with marker or a colored pencil. And then make sure you have your name. I know what class period you're in. And then that you have that opinion of Between Shades of Grey on the back. And if you still have space and you just can't think of anything else to add to it, here are some other options. You can write some personal statements or connections about what you've read, and they're not like simple opinions. So here would be a strong one. I could relate to the main character feeling lost in the book because it reminded me of when I got to high school and didn't know anyone. So if there are any connections that you have on your sticky notes in your book, you can put that on your page as well. If you know of any figurative language, like a simile where they um, compare two things using like or as, or if they exaggerate at any point in the book for a hyperbole, you can either make up your own or find three examples and put them on there. Again, this is just if you have more space and can't think of anything. Or you could even find a song or two that represents the theme you created and include the title and the singer. And um, guys, guess what? You already did this on your choice board. So if you still have white space, go to that choice board, the list of songs, and um, pick those out in your brief explanation and put those on here. So many, uh, many of these items you have done before, or you could look back at other items to maybe help spark some thoughts. So on the front board, there are a few examples for you to look at and to see how people put their themes and their images and the border onto their paper. And they read different books than you, so it probably wouldn't make much sense to take too many of their ideas because you don't. Um, they did not read Between Shades of Grey. So feel free to look at those examples and talk through what's on those um, posters or those pages and how they match the title and the border and where is their theme and where are their images. So have fun with this. Take your time with it. It shouldn't be something that you can get done in 15 minutes. It should take nearly an entire class. Go ahead and put on some music if you'd like. Um, this should just be a fun working time for you guys. And um, I definitely think it should take um, before and um, after lunch. All right, have fun.